My name is Daniel Glanz. And I'm Sutton Betty. And we're, we're from, from Glanz, Glanz Betty Studios, Studios in Loveland, Colorado. I've always been doing artwork, whether it's sculpture, illustration, paintings, three-dimensional artwork always uh, felt more comfortable to me than two-dimensional work. Sculpting in clay and casting in bronze, um, probably the mid-90s, uh, professionally, and um, have been doing it ever since. I studied uh, animation at uh, San Francisco's Academy of Art College, and uh, that was 20 years ago, and worked in the business for about a year and decided I didn't want to do that. Um, got hired to a, a sculptor where he took me under his wing and um, taught me the business and the casting and um, since then it's been kind of, it's sort of taken off from there. Well, we originally had thought of this idea of, uh, before the, the call went out to do F.O. Stanley. That was our, we had that interest uh, about a year ago. And so when the call came out, this was the perfect opportunity for us to present together. Yeah, I think it was interesting because both of us separately had visited the Stanley on different occasions. And being sculptors, of course, you walk around and you look for what sculpture is being displayed on the grounds. And we didn't really notice a piece uh, that represented F.O. Stanley. Um, our proposal is a uh, version of F.O. Stanley um, leaning up against a column and holding a violin. Um, it was important that we had him hold, holding a violin uh, because he started making violins when he was 12 and it was an important part of his life. Um, I, I think part of it is too that the, the violin construction led to the discipline that he had in his life in terms of how to organize his, his thoughts and, and creations. Hell, he was a huge part of this community. I mean, the town being a destination resort area actually started when he first visited the, the, the town. Or it wasn't a town actually then. It was incorporated in 1917. Yeah, so I don't think Estes Park, neither of us think Estes Park would actually be what it is today right. without right. his influence. Yeah. There isn't a more appropriate place than having him right. in front of the hotel.